Russia. Summer. Our time, a young engineer performs an absurd task of the authorities, stealing a button from a nearby factory. He miraculously survives. His life is full of difficulties and dangers, real adventures. He rides the subway all day, and at night sips beer in his luxurious communal apartment in a residential area of the Moscow region. Well, he also participates in a secret project to open a portal to the world of aliens. There are challenges waiting for him at every step. Whether it's trying to get to work and not die on the way, cross the road so as not to be hit by cars, find your friend and not get lost in the park and much more. This is a wild but such a beautiful and native world. Intrigued. Welcome to one of the best mods about Russia in the history of games. Minvale in Rush 2019. The mod is long suffering, even though it was made for six years, I did not leave the feeling that for all these years it had not been started, and in the end the cleaner came and did everything in an hour. This is how the process of creating a video on my channel looks like. It's a pity the project stalled at the very beginning, and we can only enjoy a demo with the first levels, which are completed in a couple of hours. But I don't need any more, and that was enough for me to enjoy the incredible spirit and beautifully conveyed flavor of Russia. And before I start, I will have the audacity and ask you to subscribe to this channel, let's finish off a thousand subscribers. Then I will make a contest, and I will also tell you how cool it is to mount, about all the subtleties and tricks of creating a video. Plot and gameplay. The first thing that comes to mind is when you hear that the game is about Russia, its violence and shootings. But the creators have made, though beautiful, but a walking simulator, where you go from point A to point B the whole game and communicate with people. The dialogues are very troll, but they do not bend the stick. Our game begins at night in the subway, we eat home. In the first minutes when you go to your home, through a smoky, smelly quarter, where drunken screams are coming from, and your neighbors are drinking on the benches, words cannot express it, the Russian soul begins to go off scale. Literally from the first seconds any Russian city is recognized. But everything is spoiled by excessive glossiness, not native. Cars, barracks, garbage dumps, absolutely everything looks new and pretentious. It doesn't feel like it's been used for a bunch of years. There are no scratches, no peeling paint, no rustiness. To check the elaboration of the environment, I specifically wondered and warmed my ears at each window of the neighbors. You might have guessed that we live in a residential area, one redneck and drunks live here, however, as everywhere else. Places from real life are quickly recognized, but they are too glossy garbage and landfills are not visible, holes in the roads too, do you say realism? The local plot is the level of Roman Trachtenberg's jokes, which are usually sold by grandmothers on the market. All your tasks boil down to the fact that using the poke method to understand where you need to get to and chat with someone, with whom specifically, they never explain to you. All this without markers, hints, and mini-maps. I remember I found a trolley, I drove it for 15 minutes, and in the end it turned out that I didn't need to go there, and that stop doesn't affect the plot at all. The atmosphere of Russia is conveyed by absurd tasks devoid of logic. For example, at the very beginning, I have to go to work, I find the subway, and I'm not going to work, but to steal a red button from a nearby factory. Such a thin banter, they say we can't invent it ourselves, so we steal it from a neighboring factory. To get this button, we need to get an employee pass. The hero says that his friend who lives nearby has a pass. A fine and precise refinement. In the game, let me remind you, there is no mini-map, hints, or a marker that marked where you need to go. The creators were clearly inspired by Maurovind. After about 25 minutes, I found his friend, a 30-year-old man, squatting and playing cars next to the sandbox. He lives near the park, but to get there, you have to run across a busy highway where there is no traffic light and no one stops. At first I thought it was just a trick, they blocked the road for us because there's nothing further there. I went back to the subway, went to my house because I thought if a friend lives nearby it's somewhere near me. Having bypassed every door, and all the entrances, I got on the internet and found out that it turns out that you need to run across that road, live and learn forever. They got a pass, they got up, they stole the red button. For some reason, the guards start shooting at us, you don't understand anything, but you still need to somehow escape somewhere, where exactly, they don't tell you. Your main thought, well, probably the exit is the same as the entrance, it's logical. While you are thinking, you are already being killed, there are no normal auto saves, and you are thrown back for 15 minutes. The second attempt, you run to the entrance, it is closed. 
with a burning S, you go to watch the passage, and it turns out that somewhere in the very far there is not a remarkable passage, to get into it you need to jump off and run through the pipes. Quite logical. At the same time, it is not realistic to guess before that. There is a button, and what's next? It is necessary to go to work, only the hero does not say how and on what to get there. The fool will think that you can get there by metro, but it turns out that the subway does not go there. I stood in it for half an hour waiting for my train to arrive. It turned out that the saves flew, and if you missed your train once, go through again from the last save that was 30 minutes ago. So the same escape I went through an hour of real time. It is only in such tasks that the spirit of Russia is revealed. You don't know what you need, you don't know where to go and what to do, who to talk to, and where the exit is from here. At the same time, cars are trying to crush you, shoot the guards, bend the authorities, and my personal hell. When you did find your job, it turns out you had to take the subway back and wait for the bus, which no one mentioned. In the Sea of Utopia, there are very similar tasks. I'm not talking about the pestilence that the game is about, but about the one outside the windows. So I got to my job, we are digging some kind of pit here with the men, we are obviously looking for water for our papu and trading partners. And as soon as I start to relax, a guard stops me at the entrance, and we listen to a fascinating non-skip dialogue for 5 minutes of real time. And you can shoot a separate video in the local dialogues. Everyone here tries to talk and sit on your ears, at the same time you ask them to do something or hell, they will show off and merge. The mentality and character of the Russian is perfectly conveyed. At the end, we see gorgeous views of Sizran, we pass through the door, and the movement and beautiful views have just begun. I was looking forward to it right now, after so many trips and routine, the needing will finally begin. I did not lose, the game is over. It's like going to the shower, and drowning before going out. A few words about the quality of fashion. Textures, models, the environment and landscape are made cool and with soul. Although the engine of 98, the graphics look stylish and modern. Valve has fallen into puddles again. That feeling when fan mods with a budget of two bottles of vodka look better than their own games. And they can easily compete with such hits as Dota 2 and Tanks. Local fashion and clothes were passed on smartly. Almost everyone walks like suckers or in track suits. Yes, in pseudo-branded clothes. Residents look realistic, diverse, and they are very easy to confuse with real people. They speak like cattle, they are rude for no reason and send you if you just approach them well. In terms of realism 1010, on those two and a half levels that are in the game, a lot of details, and you can see an excellent transfer of the environment with a bunch of small details. Especially the toilets were remembered, it's a pity to go into them. Here is the mausoleum in the park, children's music can be heard from there. Here is an ordinary playground. A huge pit fenced. We have such in every city. Only there is not enough barbed wire for completeness. Here the subway is generally a separate universe. Sleeping on a bench. Noisy shabla all according to Feng Shui. Only for some reason there are very few people on the streets here. And there are no grandmothers at all. There are three options here. Either the pension reform has entered into force. Or this is Russia of the near future or their sabbaths in public places have finally begun to disperse. Our entire population is rednecks, fashionable skins, and cops. Optimization, optimization drags. When I go out on a busy street on my beast, the FPS drops to 17 frames. Music, there is little music in fashion, street noises, and something tense. In moments of movement, what I don't understand at all. Music is the main part of our spirit and atmosphere. Without farting rock rap from school children's mobile phones and without a chance and from a tape recorder of daddies in the yard, you can't convey the right mood. You could at least cut a do Marian punk for the kids. I'll have to. Final conclusion. We would have added shooting. The game would have been top 10 10. And so it is very difficult to distinguish it from real life. And this is not exactly what I wanted. The game is very routine, 99% of our time is spent not in interesting missions, driving shootouts, or communicating with charismatic characters, but in public transport. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not the laziness of the authors, but a deliberate desire to show and banter with the typical dullness and monotonous boring life of Russians. The game had a lot of potential, and if the full version had been released, the game would have been iconic, and it turned out to be warm mentally, in the first five minutes, but after the first task it becomes boring and tedious, and the whole atmosphere goes away. I would put the fashion of six drunks at the entrance of ten, our reality was transmitted perfectly. I can wish the developers good luck in their next projects. 
for the debut work, it turned out too well. That's all, I want to do reviews on the mod about Russia in the future for the edge of the firm, old days mod, and Tarkov. If this video collects 10 likes, I will do about talk criminal Russia, there is already a real content Russia.